Okay, so this is going to be a video that I'm making for mom. Um, just trying to get a fitness routine that can be done at home with two pairs of dumbbells, a sort of a light to medium and a medium to heavy. Um, so if this isn't for you, carry on. Uh, mom, get those dumbbells, keep them upstairs, and we'll get started. So we're doing six exercises, and then we're finishing off with a bit of a cardio one at the end. Um, we're gonna do two upper body, two lower body, two upper body, and then you'll see what we're doing for the last one. So for the first exercise, I want you to grab your um, lighter of the two sets of dumbbells, and we're gonna be doing some shoulder uh, raises. So shoulder extensions. So these two exercises are gonna look kind of similar. Um, so we're gonna get some shoulder mobility going, and we're gonna build some strength up in that upper area. So with all exercises, take the shoulders, bring them up, back, and down, keeping the shoulders there. So we want the dumbbells just in front of us, and we're gonna reach out, and then slowly bring them in. Breathe out, breathe in, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. So we're gonna do two more sets of that. So these are the shoulder extensions. I affectionately refer to them as flappy birds because we're just getting going. So the idea is here is we're working on the big part of the shoulder. We're getting a lot of um, flexation going on along the outside. So they'll reinforce that joint because it's generally a pretty weak joint. If you think about how strong the, the hip is, how deeply that tissue connection was going on, the shoulders just aren't that strong, so we're gonna make that a little stronger to give us some safer shoulders. Okay, well, let's do another eight. Remember, up, back, down. Weights in front, and breathe out, and breathe in. So we're gonna do one more of those. Um, so yeah, hi mom, how are you doing? How's the day? I hope things are well. Um, I don't really know what to fill in this, this middle part. Um, probably a good idea to have water um, so that you can uh, rehydrate in between. Um, we're gonna do pretty short breaks in between the sets of the same exercise, and then a little bit of a longer break um, between the different exercises themselves. Whew. Okay. Um, shall we do the last one then? Okay. So the last set of the flappy birds. Okay, so up, back, down. Up, back, down. With the weights in front. We're going up and then in. Two. Three, four, five, six, four, seven, last one. Eight. Okay, so we're gonna do a shorter, sorry, a longer break, a short break. So. Now let's say you're wondering, okay, but I can't quite do eight with the, um, the heavy ones and with the light ones, I can do a lot more. So for most of these, we're just looking for the right feeling. So if the light one, if you're able to do 15 or more, do the heavy one. And if the heavy one, if the most you can do is five or six, then do five or six for now. And then we'll increase those numbers uh, soon. Um, we're gonna still use the lighter of the two sets of weights for the second exercise. Uh, now the second exercise is going to be, don't worry too much about the name, but they are bent over flies. So one of the areas of the shoulders 
that a lot of people disregard, which leads to a lot of injuries, is the back of the shoulder. It's sort of a tricky area to target. Um, so we'll use the latest dumbbells that you have for now. I'm just gonna do sets of six, because that's all I feel like doing, um, and then we'll go from there. It's gonna look kind of similar, but there is a very significant difference here. So, same idea, up, back, down, weights in front, and we're going to, keeping our back itself as straight as possible, we're going to pivot forward at the hips, and then we are going to do the uh, similar motion, but instead of reaching up, we're going to be reaching back. Two, three, four, five, six, and then easy with the back on the way up. So that is the bent over fly. Um, so it's a similar motion to, you know, first we're doing this and then we're doing this. Um, but it really makes a, a difference to the, uh, the muscle that we're working on in terms of reinforcing all those little muscles that are at the back. So we don't, we don't want to do, even if you feel like you can do eight to 10, keep it at a five to seven for this particular one for now. Um, Cause a lot of those feel like they're quite a bit stronger. And then, you know, you reach behind you while you're driving or, you know, something happens and they, they do get damaged pretty easily. So we want to work at that in a calm, safe way. in, weights in front, down, and one, two, breathe out, breathe in, three, breathe out, breathe in, four, five, six, and easy with the back up. Be very cognizant when you are bent over of getting up. Um, because we do want to take it nice and easy on the lower back. Alright, so we're going to do one more of these and then we're going to move into the legs. My bottle of water. Alright, let's do the last one of these. Okay, so uh, just to plan for the following exercise, but feel free to grab some water. So for the first of the two leg exercises that we're gonna do, we're going to do a variation on squats. Um, so depending on your dumbbell sizes, start with just the one, but if I recall correctly, they're quite small, so you may wanna do the two light ones together or even the two big ones together, depending but I'm gonna show you how to do it with just the one dumbbell in the goblet squat, because it's great for the form. So just don't do it yet, just see what I'm doing for now. So feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna angle, you can't see it, but you're gonna angle your toes out. So if these are the feet on your ground, you're gonna do that and then that. That just opens up the hips a little bit, which makes mobility that much simpler. So we're gonna be holding the dumbbell like this, this will make more sense in a moment. And then we're just going to squat down and then back up. And that is the entirety of the goblet squat. Now, play around with it between the sets. I'll, we'll take you through, but then do the one that you like. You can go for a wider stance and do the same thing. And I actually prefer that one because of my back, but it's up to a comfort level. Okay. So, holding the dumbbell like so. Feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to go a little bit wider than shoulder width. Toes out. And we're just going to sink, sink, sink into a nice squat, keeping your back strong, keeping your core tight, and then breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out. 
in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's five. yesterday's leg day. And eight. Ooh. Okay, that's the first of the leg exercises that we'll be doing. Um, so if you want to try the first one with your feet shoulder width, the second one with your feet a little bit more shoulder width getting into a sumo squat, and then see what you feel like, and then just do that for the rest of them. Don't worry about doing both. Um, I just want you to be as comfortable as possible throughout. Yeah, okay. This would be a good time to get some more water. All right, we are at 12 minutes. Heart rate's 132, not bad. Okay. So this time I'm gonna go quite wide. Let's go back here. In. Breathe out. And two. And three. Five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Whew. All right, so we're gonna do one more of those. Okay, shall we finish off the squats? Okay, now I'm gonna go strict shoulder width. Uh, I'm gonna do two demonstrations first, real quick. If you're going with a wide stance, you wanna really keep your elbows in because they're gonna be in between the knees. If you're doing a standard stance, you can let your elbows flare just the littlest bit because you're gonna want them outside of your knees. I'm gonna call that two. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I'm not gonna call it two. Eight. Eight. Okay. So put the big dumbbells back to where they were. We're gonna go back to the smaller of the two sets of dumbbells. Whew. And we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do weighted lunges, but we're gonna be doing them in a different way. Well, normally I'd like to just, you know, put a big weight on my back and do, you know, six steps of lunges and six steps back. And alternatively, um, you can do just one at a time. Um, and then step back and alternate, but I find you really lose a lot of the flow. So we're going to do the middle ground. Um, so you'll want to be able to take two or three big steps, but that's all that you're going to need. Um, so you're going to grab the two of the smaller dumbbells that you have. You're going to give yourself some space to take those steps. You're going to breathe in as you approach the ground and breathe out as you stand up. So breathe in, almost knee the floor. Breathe in, almost knee the floor, and now back. Breathe in, almost knee the floor. Oop. So, one, two, and back. 
One, two, back. And each time that we step forward from the wall, we are alternating feet. I think. I am not really sure. Okay. Short break. I'm going to figure that math out. Ah, see, it feels like I'm doing two forward and one back, but it's because the middle one is kind of interrupted and it doesn't arise. I'm going to play with this one, so bear with me on this. Okay, don't do this. I'm just thinking out loud. I've got to finish off the standing. That's why. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll call that the warm-up set, which is a little bit easier, and then we'll do two harder sets. So for the warm-up set, we don't complete the last stand. Instead of coming up, we just go right back. So we save a little bit of energy and we make it a little bit easier ourselves without sacrificing any of the mobility work. This was planned, maybe kind of properly. For the second one, we are going to come to a full stance at the end of the second lunge before resuming. And I'm gonna make a real effort to remember what foot I started with so we can alternate properly. Starting with the left foot, deep lunge, deep lunge, stand, deep lunge, deep lunge, stand, right foot, deep lunge, deep lunge, stand, deep lunge, deep lunge, stand. Back to the left foot, one, two, stand. One, two, stand. We slow down just a little bit. And deep. And deep. And stand. And deep. And deep. And stand. Okay, we're gonna call that set two. Whew. I believe that's five reps of there and back. Now with lunges, we want to keep the weight a little bit lighter because we are destabilizing the structure that we're building with our body with all the movement and the fact that we're frequently off balance or what appears to be off balance. Um, so with the squats, you want to go a little bit heavier because you're building this incredibly strong base and you can work those muscles. But with the lunge, it's more about the movement and getting a deep stretch through all those ligaments and tissues. Um, so that we can keep both strength increasing and mobility at its optimal uh, space. Whew, I'm starting to sweat. The lunges are deceptively difficult, so if you want to use the time that I'm talking to keep practicing, or if I move too quickly, feel free to use what I'm doing as the example and then move at your own pace and then take advantage of the fact that I love to hear my own voice and just carry on. <sighs> okay, last set of the lunges. Left foot first. And breathe in, and breathe out, and stand. Left foot first on the way back. And breathe in, and breathe out, and stand. Right foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, stand. I definitely feel last night's leg day. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, stand. Left again. Right foot. Okay. Now we're not quite done 
with the lunges. Put the weights down. Short break. No extra weight. Left foot. And stand. Left foot back. And stand. Right foot. Stand. And stand. Okay, now we're done lunges. Golly, those are more challenging than I expect every time. So, you know what? You only need the big weights for the squats, I just realized, unless any of these are really easy. If you're, like I'm looking at a medium to large and a small to medium size, but if yours are like tiny and then small, um, if you can do all this with the biggest ones that you have, then do that. And if you're doing something like the squats, I know I'm catching up now, where you've got, you know, like the one dumbbell, but you're like, oh, but it's like a teacup in my hand. Then you can just hold the two dumbbells as you do the squats. Um, so next we're gonna be focusing on a little bit of arm strength, a little bit of upper body strength, um, bicep curls and tricep extensions. So for me, I'm gonna use the smallest dumbbells that I have, but for you, all along with the light ones. If you can, you know, if I do eight and I put them down and then you can do 15, then it's time to transition to the big ones. Okay, so we're not gonna need as long of a wait for these because it's a much smaller muscle, so it's gonna lose its energy faster, but it's gonna recoup that energy uh, just as quickly. Okay, so, the manliest of exercises. So we're gonna do hammer curls because they are the simplest in terms of explaining. I'm going to show them at the different angles. We're not going to rotate anything. It's just going to come up like you're swinging a hammer. So that's one, one, two, two. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Four, four, Five, five, six, six, seven, seven. It's just gonna do one more. Eight, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Eight, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Okay. So we started with some bigger muscles in the upper body, the shoulders, the rear shoulder, how they attach to the back. Then we worked on strength in the quad, a little bit of hamstring work, a little bit of glute work, and we got some mobility down the same range. And now we're working on getting the full arm in its capacity just a little bit stronger. And then we have the final move. Golly, I hope this music isn't too loud and that you can hear me. Okay, so. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. All right, you put those down. So we're going to do one more with those. Actually, I take it back. We are only going to do one more of those, but we may use the bigger weight for the last one, but that's going to depend very much on the size of your particular dumbbells.
But yeah, since we're just hanging out for the next 20 seconds, um, my suggestion would be bring the dumbbells back upstairs, keep them there, and do this this week, twice a week, or rather next week. So feeding in next week, twice. Then try and build a schedule where you're doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and just put this on the TV, follow along. It should take a touch over half an hour, which is not bad. So in a whole week, it's about an hour and a half. Um, and you'll start to feel stronger quite quickly. All right, last set. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, So we are tentatively done with these dumbbells. I am going to use one of the bigger two for the tricep extensions, also the French press. Uh, and then we have thrusters at the end. And I know you don't know what a thruster is, but oh golly. Well, when you redo this daily, that part's going to be a lot less funny, but then you'll feel the, the excitement for the last exercise to be done. Um, okay, so. Tricep extensions, fairly simple to do, especially if you're doing them with a, like the largest dumbbell that you have isn't gonna be too crazy. Um, if you get heavier, they get a little bit trickier to get into position. So I'm gonna do it facing a bunch of weird angles so that you can see because my tech is not great. Um, so we just worked on the bicep, now we're gonna work on the tricep. So, let's get the old yoga mat back out here. I'm gonna do this on my knees. I'm recommending you do it standing up. This is just for a visual effect. Okay, so, it's a good technique to know. The way to get it into position is you're gonna sort of palm the bottom and then wrap it around and you do not wanna be smacking yourself in the head with it. Elbow is nice and tucked in and you're gonna press it straight up. So if this is sort of awkward, you can kind of rest it on your shoulder and then that'll help you get it back onto the ground. I'm going to show that in a couple of different angles so that you can see what it looks like, but it really is just getting it behind your head, pressing it up, bringing it back down without smacking yourself in the back. So we'll do two more sets of that. And then we'll see how many thrusters we want to do. I'm going to aim for a full set of 30, but uh, I'm not making any promises at the moment. This one I'll try one of these angles, maybe, and we'll see what we see. Okay, second set, second and last set of the entire thing. Okay. Elbows nice and together, and we're reaching, we're pressing straight up.
Okay, I'm gonna take a bit more of a rest for this one. I am feeling it. Oh, for the last one, I might just do it standing up so you can see what that feels like. It will adjust the shoulder rotation slightly in a couple of ways. Okay. Well, this is our last set of our last exercise of six exercises, which just leaves the thrusters with these guys. Man, I even do less weight than that for me. But to be fair, I'm tired and kind of whiny today. <sighs> All right. Shall we? So, <clears throat> for my introductory tentative home dumbbell fitness plan, we're done the resistance part. We're now going to do a little bit of metabolic conditioning. Um, we're going to do that with the smallest set of dumbbells. So even if you think you can do plenty, use the smallest ones for the first set. We're at 32 minutes, so I think we can wrap this up in about 35 minutes. So, thrusters, we're combining squats and the shoulder press. No, we didn't do the shoulder press, but that's the, the one where we come straight up. So, we wanna take two motions and combine them, not at the same time, but one's gonna flow into the other, and we're gonna go a little bit quicker. So once we have the dumbbells, we're gonna keep them sort of close to our chest. We're gonna get a nice wide-ish, squat stance, we're going to just come down and up. So notice, I'm not, to really slow it down, it's sort of that I'm doing one and then the other. I'm not reaching as I go, but I'm also not coming up to the top and going. The momentum carries through such that it is one action. All right, I'm going to aim for 8 to 12, but we're going to see what happens. Okay, I should have picked smaller dumbbells. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. That wasn't maximally terrible, right? <sighs> okay, short rest, and we're gonna do that again. <sighs> bah humbug. <sighs> Heart rate's 153, so that's exciting. <sighs> it's three times my normal heart rate. <sighs> this is why I don't think I could ever do these like on Instagram and like get famous because I just wouldn't shut up. So hey, yeah, that feels like, oh, this is hard. This is difficult. This is challenging. This is harder than I thought it was. First point, it's going to get easier. If it was already easy, you wouldn't need to be doing it. And second of all, I'm sweating. I'm breathing hard, my heart rate is three times where it's supposed to be. So, this is appropriately challenging, but we're starting with the easier movements. Okay. Let's do that again. And go. And one, two,
we are gonna do one more. I'm just gonna wipe this sweat off my face. So we're 36 minutes. We'll, we'll be doing less than 40. <sighs> So all together, we have now done 20 out of 21 sets, 18 resistance covering, not absolutely everything, but we're trying to keep this under 45 minutes, but a nice collection of muscles that will be practical for your day to day based on what I know about your day to day. Um, and we're entering with as close to a full body as we possibly could for these last bit of Metcon. And this is just gonna get you a little bit more sweaty. It's gonna engage your heart, because one thing that we wanna be doing is exercising the heart. So even if this is like, well, we kinda did that, and we kinda did this, yes. So I don't wanna put too much stress on that space, but we want a little bit of work. Now, if at this point you're already sitting down, then don't do this third set with me. But if you are feeling strong, if you are feeling capable, and you want to do this last set with me, let's do this last set and wrap this shit up. Okay. Thirty-eight minutes, not bad. Um, yeah, so don't sit down. Uh, just walk around the house a little bit. Um, you want to ease your heart rate down a little bit. So I'm just gonna pace. And just pace with me. Oh, I feel better. Okay, so I think that's all for now. Remember, we're doing this because we love our bodies, but we want them to be stronger and do what we can to help them last as long as possible. Um, we're not doing this out of guilt or shame. We're doing this because luck favors are prepared and it is good to be strong. Okay. Mom, I love you. Talk soon. Okay, bye.